Mike forced David's mouth open and then put him in chains, although David has been struggling but also to no avail. Mike then pulled out a 40M long hose and shoved it directly into David's mouth. David screamed in pain, but Mike still refused to stop. He forced the hose into David's ebon. Then Mike unscrewed the valve and instant countless eels along the pipe into David's stomach. In fact, Mike will not intentionally hurt others as long as you like and follow this video so Mike will not hurt you. It turns out that Mike did so for the purpose of extracting a drop of medicine that can make people live forever, not long ago. David was tricked into this sanatorium he found his left leg was put in a cast. Just when David was wondering what was going on, Mike told him that you had a car accident yesterday. Luckily you were treated in time and are now fine. Before he left, Mike also tell David to drink more hot water. But David just finished drinking the water and found that the taste is not bright. A closer look he found a live worm in the glass. But at this time David did not think much about it, not knowing that he was already in danger on the surface of the health center or some spa projects. But the weird thing is, the year old guy here can actually dive in the water for 3 hours and not suffocate. Since David came to the spa, he often had hallucinations at first day that didn't care about it, but when he went to the toilet he found a large number of eels crawling in the water tank. David was instantly shocked, but when he looked back that heels had disappeared. David was so angry that he tore down the toilet. The next day he immediately found the curator and wanted to leave the place. At that moment David was hallucinating again and had an inexplicable nosebleed. Passed out again, and when he woke up he found himself in a water tank. David was soaking in the water when a python suddenly passed by him, but David didn't even notice when he realized it was too late, a large number of pythons had surrounded him. David struggled desperately, his wand to the window and pounded on the glass as hard as he could. But Mike was sitting in his chair, concentrating on his book. He did not even notice that David had changed. David saw the scene. He was very angry. David had to try his best to swim upstream, but unfortunately the python actually pulled David's oxygen mask down. The mask fell lengthily surrounded by a large number of pythons. When David swam to the top, he found that the top cover was firmly sealed. At this point David was very desperate. He struggled desperately, but to no avail. Soon David passed out due to lack of oxygen, and was surrounded by pythons when they fell down. When he woke up, he found that he had been rescued and he quickly told Mike that there were pythons in the water. The two of them took a flashlight and looked for a long time, but there was nothing in the water. This makes David more suspicious of the sanatorium is indeed a problem. So the next day, he secretly asked the old man in the sanatorium what this sanatorium was doing before. The old man told him that the previous owner was secretly doing experiments on immortality. Those who were experimented on were very famous, so the sanatorium was closed down. In the days that followed, David noticed that something was wrong with his body. He just touched it with his hand and an incisor was pulled out. So we seek into the lab where the water tanks were strangely filled with 80-year-old boys, or very skinny. Just as David was trying to sneak out, he ran into Mike. David did not know that more horror was waiting for him. Mike first fixed David's head and then put a chain on David's mouth. Once everything was ready, Mike took out the electrodrill and shoved it directly into David's mouth, cooling out one of David's teeth. Fortunately, David was lucky and escaped from Mike. He got into a cab and quickly went to the police station to report the crime. David told of some horrible behavior at this sanatorium, but he didn't know that the police officers here were in cahoots with Mike from the sanatorium. The police called Mike and brought David back to the nursing home. With nowhere to go, David had to accept the treatment program. Here, after a period of brainwashing, David began to become dull, until this day he suddenly thought of something. David removed the cast from his leg, but found that he was not sick at all. So he quietly went to a secret basement where he found all kinds of embryos and experimental specimens. It turns out that Mike has been secretly researching immortality experiments. He used long-lived eels and human bodies soaked in one place, then by baking, extracting the essence of immortality inside after learning the truth. David immediately came to the hall. Mike's behavior told everyone pressed, but by now the patients had already been brainwashed by Mike and they surrounded David like ghosts. David had no choice but to sprinkle the place with gasoline and then a fire to ignite the gasoline. Mike was burned alive in this way. However, the strange thing is that seeing the house on fire, the patients here are not only not afraid, they track their dance partners to dance together. At the end of the story, David rode his bicycle and took the girl he loved away from this weird sanatorium. I do not know what David was laughing at this time.